My skin has a mind of its own, like a soapy, almondy sort of scent. Like mostly soap, a little bit of almond. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my December BoxyCharm box here for you today. So as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this box and I've been trying out the goodies inside so I'll be able to give you some little mini reviews. I'm wearing several of them on my face so you can kind of like see them in action and yeah, I'm just gonna run through my December box, so let's jump into it. Okay, so the theme this month is Pop Fizz Clinks. So super cute, very kind of like Great Gatsby looking. It says, get ready to revel in the charm of an era of decadence and glamour. This month we celebrate a revolution in style by taking beauty back to a time when jazz, boas, glitter, and pearls hit it big. So raise your champagne glasses, charmers, and get ready for a roaring celebration. Love this theme, adorable. So first off in my box, I got some blotting sheets from Tatcha, and I have no idea how to pronounce this word. Aboratorigami. Aboratorigami. Japanese beauty papers. But basically they're like blotting sheets. It says soft absorbent leaflets made of 100% natural abacha, abaca leaf, and gold flake to absorb excess oil without disturbing makeup for petal fresh skin. These retail for $12. I did use these yesterday and they worked great. I mean, it, my skin has a mind of its own. Some days it's like, I would say most days it's kind of combination moving towards normal, but then I'll have a random super oily day and I had a super oily day yesterday and I used these and it worked really well. So yeah, if you like blotting sheets, I think that you would really like these. I think that they work nicely. Next I got a treatment oil from NCLA. This is the NCLA So Rich Cuticle Oil. It's a full size and it retails for $18. It says revitalizes and hydrates your cuticles and nails. The vitamin E extract paired with sunflower seed oil nourishes your nails and locks in moisture. Its gel rubber grip dropper allows for perfect dosage and application every time. So I did use this. Um, I'm not very good about taking care of my cuticles, but clearly it shows and I need to take better care of my cuticles because they're not in the best of shape. But I mean, I use this um, and I really liked it. I thought it worked nicely and the little dropper did work well. It comes to a little tiny point. So yeah, it's a good little um, oil as far as like what it smells like. Cause you guys know I'm weird about beauty products. I smell everything. I would say it kind of has like a soapy almondy sort of scent. Like mostly soap, a little bit of almond in there with it. So it's not an unpleasant scent, but it does have some sort of a smell to it. But I really just like the applicator. The little dropper that it comes to a point makes it really easy to apply and a little bit went a long way. And it did seem to really like hydrate my cuticles and soften them, so I like this. So this is the one thing in the box I have not tried yet, but I'm excited to use it because it smells amazing. This is the Nelson J Argon Oil 7 Moisture Healing Mask. It's a full size and it retails for $23. It says unique 100% argon oil derived moisturizing treatment provides long lasting and the most effective result for color treated dry or damaged hair. It says coconut scent. That's why I'm excited about it. It made the whole box smell yummy. It smells like coconut, oh my gosh. Um, it says apply moisture healing mask once a week to towel dried hair, leave in hair for one minute, rinse and style as desired. For a deeper repair, leave mask in hair for up to five minutes. So me with my fine hair, I will probably just leave it in the one minute. Um, but yeah, I mean, it smells amazing. I mean, it still has the cap on it and I can smell it really well. So just very coconutty and oh my gosh. Yeah, like summertime. Mm, but if you don't like coconut, you won't like this. But if you love it, if you love coconut, I think you'll really like this. But it says detangles, controls frizz, prevents hair color fading, seals split ends, protects from chlorine and salt water, restores silkiness and shine, enhances natural body. So I think this is gonna be a fun mask to try out. I'll let you know like in a future video what I'm thinking about it. Next I got a little highlighter. This is the Jelly Pong Pong, which I love that name. It just, because I, I've gotten something from them in another box before and just the name is, I don't know, makes me happy to say it. Jelly Pong Pong. Jelly Pong Pong All Over Glow. It's a full size and it's value of $15.95 says an oil-free lightweight luminizing gel enriched with micronized pearlescent pigments and jasmine extract to highlight the face for a fresh radiant complexion. So basically it says you just apply it on your face and blend it out with a brush. 
Um, so I use it on my cheekbones today. I actually didn't even, I didn't use the brush to blend it out. I just used my fingers, but I mean, I really like it. It's a very pretty highlight. Um, how would I describe the color? My hands are so dry. It's not even funny. This girl needs some lotion up in here. Where is my lotion? <laughs> I'm so, it's so funny. Like my skin can be so oily on my face, but then on my body, like my hands and my legs are so dry. That's a random side note. Are y'all like that? Like that makes no sense. But anyway, my hands are really dry, so ignore that. But this is a beautiful, glowy highlight. I mean, look at that, how it like just catches the light. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. Blended really nicely into the skin. I think this is gonna be really pretty, like even if you wanna put like a little bit of, of it on like your decollete, like mix it in with some body lotion or something, I think it would be really beautiful. So I like this a lot. I think it's very like versatile and you can even probably mix this in with your foundation to kind of give a little all over glow. So I like products like these, these kind of liquid highlights. I think that they're pretty versatile. And then the last two things in my box that I am most excited about, I got a lip liner from Bella Pierre and then a liquid lipstick from Ofra. So the lip liner, it is a Bella Pierre waterproof gel liner and it's a full size and it's value of $17.99. And then the liquid lipstick from Ofra is a full size and it's a value of $19.90. So I'm wearing both of these on my lips today. They work perfectly together. I love them both. I think they're like really kind of unique colors that they're sort of just like warm, I don't know, like a terracotta brown. So kind of like in between that kind of warm orangey color and just a traditional brown lipstick. I really like both of them just because they're so different. So let me show you swatches. Okay, so the lip liner is in the shade Cinnamon and the liquid lipstick is in the shade Americano. So I really like both of them. I will say about the lip liner, it is a gel lip liner. So it does feel um, slightly heavier on the lips as you're applying it, but certain lip liners just kind of have that feeling. Like the, um, like the Rimmel lip liners feel like that to me. And then even the Jordana lip liners kind of feel towards that. But I would much rather have that type of a formula. I like this kind of formula, I don't think it's bad, but I just want to mention it to you. I would much rather have that than like a dry pencil liner that drags on your lips. This does not drag. It just feels a little bit heavier. And then I really like the formula of the Ofra liquid lipsticks. These just do less of the weird things that normal liquid lipsticks do. So less of the line on the middle part of your lips. They're not as drying. I feel like they wear away better than the other ones. Like other liquid lipsticks are so strange as they start to wear away. These aren't as bad about that. So I really do like the formula of these, but I really, really enjoy this combination. I think it's a unique color and I like the formula on both of them. Okay guys, so that's everything that I got in my December box. So I just added up the value and it is $106.84. So another awesome value this month. I think this was a great box. I really loved everything that I got. I would say standout favorites. For sure, the lip combination. I do really like this illuminator though, um, but really everything. Like I'm excited about these treatment products. I think they sound really great. Well, I know this one is. I'm excited to play with this. And then I can always use blotting sheets, especially on those random oily skinned days. So I think this box was awesome. I love BoxyCharm. If you wanna sign up, just BoxyCharm.com. I'll leave the link down below. But hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you got in your BoxyCharm this month. What was your favorite thing that you got? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video.